Hello, uh, welcome to this short video uh, where I will be installing uh, Kenwood KPG D3 which is for the NX3000 series um, I will also be activating the license uh, so that you are able to use the software before we start you will need three things Firstly, you'll need your license, which is a purchasable item, and it comes as a .jkefs file. You will also require the software, which I have already downloaded here. Uh, currently, the latest version is version 1.3. Um, to start off, I will unzip the files. Now I have them unzipped, I'll go into them and you can see here is KPG D3 version 1.3. Uh, into that file is the third item that you require and that is KPT 300 LMC V116. Uh, the LMC is the license manager management client uh, with the latest version being 1.16. Um, first off, I'll install KPG D3, and as said before, that's for the NX3000 series radios. Um, here we have the setup uh, exe, uh, double click in, uh, runs the install wizard. And then it's a case of uh, following the on-screen instructions. Um, so um, you can fill these in as you see fit. Uh, selecting a language. Um, terms and conditions uh, should always be read. And then selecting the agree and uh, next. Um, here you will choose the file location on your PC locally. You can change it or leave it as the default, which is uh, always a good idea. And one final screen it says, uh, are you sure you want to install? Click back and, uh, or cancel to exit. Uh, we'll go ahead and install. Clicking finish, uh, complete the installation. Now I'm going to click cancel here to uh, prove a point. Um, but basically, we're, we're not installing KPT 300 LMC just yet. I will do that in a moment, but we'll abort that. Finish. So we haven't installed the license management client. So if I go to run KPG D3, which is here, so KPG D3 freshly installed, I go to run it, I can't because I haven't authenticated uh, the license with my uh, license.jkefs uh, file. So close that down. And we go back into the folder. Uh, we have KPT 300 LMC and another setup exe. So we're going to run that one now. And again, following the on screen instructions, we we'll go next. Again, fill, fill these fields in as you require. Uh, select a language. Uh, terms and conditions again, uh, file location of where it's to be stored, and install. And finish. 
finish. Now that's installed KPT 300 NMC. I'm going to open that now, and it should by default it saves with the rest of your Kenwood uh, KPG softwares. Um, you also have basic operation manuals in varying language. Um, so I'll open the LMC. jumped across my other screen so here this has popped up this is for radio licensing uh, so here you can see uh, DMR conventional one which I had to do the other day um, but to get to the software if we off click authentication we have a drop-down menu for radio which we're on currently but if we select software we see it changes to a green icons and at present I, I currently have a sample KPG D3 which is a 90 day allocation but I've already used that um, I have up here a license for KPG D3 D2 and D1 so all the latest Kenwood softwares uh, FPU sorry so in order to authenticate KPG D3 which we've just installed I need to drag and drop the .jkefs file into this window here and as you can see it's popped up uh, it says what it is from what, what models uh, the model codes um, description of what it actually is so it's for a dealer um, and also the quantity so I'm going to install and authenticate all three by double clicking the checkboxes and clicking this software authentication button in the top right hand corner. nice little dialog box authentication complete so clear that off and as you can see uh, local authentication uh, I have all three uh, four including my sample all three uh, licenses uh, authenticated for the uh, free softwares uh, for use um, now I can go to the previously installed KPG D3 just there and whereas before it threw up a uh, no you can't open this not authenticated uh, dialog box it now loads up nicely and we're fully able to program NX3000 radios and that is how to install and authenticate uh, Kenwood's KPG D series FPUs, so D1, D2, and D3. Um, in order to use your license on another machine, uh, you have to cancel the authenticated licenses which you've just authenticated and you can export them into another .jkefs file um, I'll show you how to do that quickly so cancellation again you can do it with the radio licensing as well so in this instance we're going to do it for the software Okay, so now over on the authenticated side, we're going to double check the uh, tick boxes and then we're going to click the software cancellation button in the top right. And there we 
go, nice little pop up box again, uh, just informing us cancellation is completed. So we clear that off by checking OK and then clicking the file drop down box. We can software license export option. Click that. This gives you a warning saying that if you haven't cancelled it, it won't be exported. Um, but if you follow the steps I've just shown you, uh, this will be of uh, no problems uh, for yourselves. So checking OK. Now it gives you the option of how you like to save it. So I'm going to throw it onto my desktop. I'm going to rename it today's date. So and I'm going to save that. Um, it then gives you the option do you want to open that folder uh, there's no need in this instance so I'm going to check no um, and as you may have seen it just popped up on my desktop because that's where I requested to save it um, a few key points to note about the new Kenwood KPGD software's FPUs is whilst the software itself is freely available um, and is only distributed electronically uh, there's no CDs uh, USB dongles available for these softwares uh, the licensing is a purchasable commodity um, please get in, in touch with us here at AirSys uh, contact your uh, account manager um, or anyone in the technical department will be uh, happy to help um, and anything else uh, please feel free to contact us on the uh, following details thank you